We will see how to perform PCA on an incomplete dataset. We will use the following dataset, orange, which contains 8 continuous variables, 12 individuals, and some missing values. Min missing values are denoted by NA for not available. So we will load the factor minor package. It is also possible to perform a PCA on this dataset. So here are the results of the PCA. But what happened for the missing values? Missing values were replaced by the mean variable and PCA was performed on the completed data table. It is possible to achieve a PCA with missing data using the package MISMDA. This package contains several functions. Some functions allow us to impute missing values in order to perform PCA on a completed data table. To do this, we need to estimate the number of dimensions which, we, which will be used to complete the dataset. We write NB equal estim NCP PCA orange NCP mean equal zero means that we test the number of dimensions between zero and NCP max equal five. This procedure is very long because for each cell the value is removed then estimated with a zero component, with one component, with two components, and up to five components. Then the difference between the estimated value with zero component and the observed value is calculated. The estimation with one component and the observed value. And we do that for each component. So there were 50 warnings, which shows that the algorithm did not converge for 50 situations. The estimated number of components is 2, so number, this number is used for the imputation of the data table. For large data tables, it is better to use the argument method CV equal K folds, which means that some values of the data set are removed, then re-estimated for 0 and uh, until 5 dimensions. This procedure is, repeat, is repeated a number of times. It is not repeated as many times as there are cells, and therefore the algorithm is faster. We do not perform the algorithm here, and so we, we do escape. We can now achieve the imputation with impute PCA orange and CP equal, equal 2, and we impute using two components of the PCA. The, the imputation is done. We can visualize the completed dataset in the object complete ops. If we compare with the raw dataset, we can see that the observed values do not change. And for missing values, for instance, for individual uh, 5 and the variable color intensity, the missing values is estimated by 633. The imputation is more interesting than the one that takes into account the average since the links between variables and the similarities between individuals are taken into account to improve the estimated value. With this completed data table, we can now perform PCA using the PCA function available in factor minor. We obtain the graphs of the individuals and the graphs of the variables. So to sum up, we first have to estimate the number of dimensions that will be used to perform PCA and to impute the dataset. Then we impute the dataset to have a completed data table. And finally, we perform the PCA on the completed data table. And with this methodology, the PCA is performed only on the observed values.